What he, are you? He was out by five feet. I mean, I don't understand. What are you thinking? No, he's not. He wasn't thinking. Santana struck out his first time up. So underway here in the third, two to nothing, Tampa Bay. We saw Acuna do that the other night in Atlanta. They're down by three runs. He gets thrown out of third. Trying to stretch a double to a triple. I mean, crazy. Verdugo on deck, and then J.D. Martinez about to get their first look at this guy because he did not start the ball game. Andrew Kittredge did. And a 2 1 home to Santana. Boy, how he slips that by. 81, a little cut on it or something. Yeah, Santana just, takes a huge swing. Right, that ball's right down the middle. And that head discipline on uh, Santana right now, not real good. Uh, head's flying all over the place. 56 at bats. He has struck out on 17 occasions. I mean, that's his best pitch. It is. 78 mile an hour, a little turn me over change up. Now he's going to throw a little cutter. 3 2. And he does walk him. So Santana is aboard. Good start for the Red Sox here in the third. Powerful connection presented by Xfinity. Now this should have been a two base hit with a man in scoring position is the effort by Santana gets by him. Now Renfro gets it. Now watch the relay here from Bogart. You get two guys at third base. Rodriguez and Devis. It ends up being Devis making the play. I think Erod might have been over there to help umpire on this one. I have never seen that before. I, I can't imagine being a pitcher trying to get in the way of the throw. He reached out for he it. He did. I've never seen that. Experience a powerful and secure Wi-Fi connection for all your devices. Xfinity x Can your internet do that? You know, you see something every game. I've never seen that. <laughs> a, a, a pitcher trying to take the throw from the outfielder. The cutoff man. Yeah, you, like, get away from here, Rafi. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Like, Rafi, you go back up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make the play at third. He got excited. He wanted to make the play. Red Sox with a man on. Verdugo took ball four in the first inning. And we'll look at a strike at 85. Now it's two for four with a home run against this lefty. A slice of foul. One and two. I'm just waiting for somebody to crush something. And Verdugo is hit safely in six in a row. Does have a couple of doubles and a home run in there. Nobody out, one on, two nothing Tampa Bay in the third. And it's two and two. A little bit of a rush delivery that time on the breaking ball. Some ugly throws here. Left-hander certainly working at his own tempo. Already a lot of three-two pitches. That one's going to be stroked in the left field for a base hit. So seven-game hitting streak for Alex Verdugo. Runners on at first and second. Red Sox in business here against Yarbrough. You know, it looked to me like that hole at bat. Verdugo was trying to go to the opposite field. Every approach he had was to the opposite field, and he finally gets a fastball that's a little bit to the outside part of the plate and shoots the line drive over there for it. I think that's the best approach. Just wait yeah. as long as you can. Especially against a, as you say, a salad. Salad. Zone. Salad. I mean, this is big league salad. You know, J.D. Martinez has numbers against a lot of pitchers in the American League, but 
seldom as good as they are against this guy. 10 for 18. 556 is batting average against this lefty. With two home runs. And that's fair down the line. Out of the range of Franco. Down into the corner. Santana in the score. Here comes Verdugo rounding. No play at home plate. He beats it. Martinez all the way down to second. He continues to pick on Yarbrough, and this game is tied. You couldn't get that 550 out of your mouth before he swung the bat. Yeah, all right. yeah, that was, it's another that was double. Great timing, Dave. And I'll tell you what, this guy has got nothing. He's got nothing to get Martinez out on. He's got nothing to begin with, and they see Franco. First chance of this thing, he tipped yeah. it. He tipped it. He probably should have made that play. He should have. Should have. Should have knocked it to down. Knock that ball down. Cost them two runs there, but that's a double there for JD. First pitch hacking right down the line. So Snyder, the pitching coach, out for a visit. Red Sox right back at it. They tie it up pretty quickly. A walk, a base hit, and a two-run double by JD Martinez. Now 46 runs batted in. And he is hit safely in 11 straight. Right down that third baseline, and that's a ball that he's going to die for, knock down, and save a run. Bases would have been loaded. Kind of faked him out a little bit, didn't it? He overplayed it. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think he thought he could backhand that and make a play at some base. He had no chance. Right. Nobody out. Go ahead, man, a second. For Xander Bogart, so has a base hit. Kind of fooled him a little bit, that that hop. I, I think he thought he had it. Yep. So Xander trying to become the fourth consecutive Red Sox to reach base here in the third. As the Red Sox have tied it 2 2. Swing of the first pitch, and he nubs a foul for strike one. Red Sox here for three. Garrett Richards tomorrow night against left hander Rich Hill. Of course, from Massachusetts, having a good year. Five and two of the 364 ERA. Garrett going in four and four with a 436. Big curveball, Rich Hill. Mm. And then Nick Pavetta will pitch on Thursday in the last game of the Trop. Oh, no. Got the call. You're not calling that early in the game, but now you're going to call it. A little cutter on the corner, isn't it? Yeah, not even close to the corner. Bogats takes a long wood back at Cuzzy. Two strikes on Xander. Devers on deck. Martinez off second. Trying to protect there with two strikes. That's what happens. You know, you get a call like that made on you. You get you chasing on the outside part of the plate. Anything close, you got to go for it because you're afraid he's going to call it again. And it was one home run on the trip. He's doubled three times on this road trip. Red Sox continue to lead the world in doubles. And the 0-2 from the southpaw. I don't know how many pitches we've seen outside soft. Change-ups away, away, it's, away, away. It's like nothing but ugliness away. Danny Santana got it underway with a walk. Alex Verdugo to base hit. Martinez doubled them both in. Now one and two on bogey. He's 375 in his career against Yarbrough as well. A lot of good numbers up and down this lineup against him. He takes his sweet time out there too. He's had oh to boy. check the signs mm. a few times already in this game. A guy on second. He is an argument for the pitch clock in baseball. And a one-two. 
That's his favorite spot. Salad away. Yep. Look at that. Salad, cutter, three more pieces of salad. 77, 78, 78, 79. Yeah, the 79 is not ripe yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody like this guy. When it comes to tempo, I'm delighted to hear that. There's nobody like him. Gonna pop that one foul back out of play to hang in. Tried to stink that breaking ball in on Bogates. Bogates, and he's able to foul it off. Got away from that slider for one pitch. See if he comes back with it again. Maybe he'll throw him his burner. <laughs> Which is 88. Uh, I think he turns his burner over. <laughs> it's a little sinkage. Martinez off second. One, two, left and low. There it is. Back to number one. In that case, number three. Red Sox with an opportunity to get on top here on the road at the Trop and the 2 2. He's running full. What do you think? I change up away? Oh, yeah. Without question. Right? Yeah. This guy makes me anxious, Jerry. I, I got to calm down. Yeah. You know, I tell you, and that's what he tries to do. As a hitter, you get anxious. Oh, don't you do. You? When in the world is he going to throw me something straight? And with a little something on it. I mean, he could rock your world inside. I mean, you got to be looking away, soft away. He's already gone to three and two five times. Well, we noticed that outfielder George Springer was in the Toronto Blue Jay lineup on Tuesday night for this the fifth time this season. Three time All Star began the year on the IL because of a strained quad. He played in four games and then got hurt again. Already a very potent oh, lineup. No, we can't come, we can't come to a conclusion here. Salad no. in, salad away. What are you, you going to do? We might have to go to the numbers again. It is still three and two. Tried to cut fastball inside. I'm booking a change up here. Wow, look at all that stuff, Jerry. All that stuff. Nothing more than 83. That's Matt. No, he peaked at 84. 84. He was bringing it. A little cut, cut it. on it. Three, two again. Oh, and again, he hammered fool me. He might have got me. Came with the cutter inside again. I'm thinking change up away, and he's coming cutter in. He still got to it though. It's just not hasn't got. Enough hard cut on it. Well, Xander making him work, that's for sure. A walk, a single, a double in the frame. And a long at bat by the X Man. Will he get something to drive here once again on the payoff pitch? Up the middle of base hit. Martinez taken off for third. He'll stop there. So Xander wins the battle. He's two for two tonight. As that change up again, 78 miles an hour. Outside part of the plate are a little bit off, and Bogey takes it up the middle for the base hit. The turnover change up. And he saw enough of those in that about to last him a week. That falls way off the plate, too. Nobody's home up the middle. JD has to wait. And that's an 11 pitch at bat single. First and third, nobody out. 
And the batter will be Rafi Devers, who struck out in the first inning. Two seventy seven with the eighteen home runs. Well, you got to be licking your chops, but you can't get too excited. Hardest pitch he threw was a fastball he struck him out on in the first inning. Yep. Raphael number two in the majors and RBIs behind Vlad Guerrero Jr. Fifty seven. Lefty lefty duel here. Going after the first one, he'll loft that one down the line and foul out of play. There it is, the best he's got right there, 88. Devers hitting 359 with runners in scoring position. Martinez standing at third, Xander Bogarts at first. We're tied 2 2. Yeah, he almost did. He was going to call that a strike. Yeah, and they could have called it a strike, too. This ball had a piece of the plate, I believe. No question, because he was giving it some thought. One and one. Red Sox looking to grab the lead here in the third. Oh, a cut, but he missed it. One and two. You know, it's not like he's missing overpowering fastballs, but these 88s probably look like 95s after all the junk he's thrown. Raffi has belted three home runs on this trip. It won on Sunday at Kansas City. Try to slip fastball by him again, didn't he? Lofted in the center. Sliding play, Kiermeyer. Runner tagging. Martinez trying to score. He will. Not a good throw by Kiermeyer, and the Red Sox are in front, three to two. That's what? good base running. Yeah, good I thought that ball running. was going to fall in. Yeah. He could have been caught halfway down that line, thinking it was going to drop in, but he held his position at third base. <laughs> And even with Kiermaier in center field, they've got to test his arm. He goes into the slide. That helps. He pops up and makes the throw. Not much on the throw coming to home plate at all. And J.D. scores without a problem. Very smart right there. Don't take for granted it's going to drop in. Tag up. And the Red Sox are up by one. Devers will pick up the RBI, number 58. Bogart's holding, of course, at first base. Here's Hunter Renfro. He is 0 for 1. He's popped up to the first baseman. And that's inside for ball one. So the Sox bouncing back very quick here against Yarbrough. Renfro, member of the Tampa Bay Club last year. Swing and a high fly ball. He jacks this one to left center deep. Kiermaier back. She is gone. Home run, Hunter Renfro. A two run shot off Yarbrough. And the Sox extend the lead to five to two. Yeah, somebody finally got him. I was just back to look, see how many home runs he's given up this year. Look back up, and Renfro went yard. What was that pitch? Ed? Was that a changeup? I think it was a changeup. Just a little, just up enough. You're looking for something soft, and. He got it just up enough to get to it. Yep. Yep. Change up right there, right over the middle of the plate, down, knee high, but not down enough. Renfro knew it, right on contact. A little two run piece against his old team. Now, the Red Sox first home run is brought to you by Audi and the all new 2021 Audi e tron. Number nine for Hunter. I don't know how this guy gets people out, to be honest with you. I mean, he features some of the, the weakest salad I've ever seen all in, in the big leagues. In this inning, he's not getting people out. 
Walk single double single two run homer. Well, Speedway will donate five hundred dollars to Boston Children's Hospital for every Red Sox home run this season. All donations raised will stay local to support Boston Children's Hospital. It's almost like you, you got to look at one pitch and that's a change up away. And if he doesn't get it away that that change up becomes very hittable. Oh he gets it over the middle of the plate forget about it. Renfro going downtown 30 pitches already this inning by Yarbrough in there for a strike Vasquez 0 for 1 he's flying to left got to be sweet there for Hunter Renfro to do that against Tampa Bay huh oh yeah oh yeah after they cut him loose, signed by the Red Sox as a free agent, it has turned out to be an outstanding decision by the Red Sox. It's painful enough watching Yarborough. Might as well knock him around. Yeah, might as well. Might, might as well. Spinning. We got to watch this. Red Sox five and Tampa Bay two. K.K. Hernandez on deck. And his one two. Slicer foul. That's the cut fastball at 85 miles an hour down at the bottom of the zone. He has a hard time throwing anything swing and miss. He yeah. has no swing and miss stuff. Unless he gets that cut it down and in against right handers he might get one there. Well he shook off about four there. Here comes his 60th pitch. And he did not start the ball game. It's going to be flared foul. That's the one I'm talking about right there yeah. with the. Uh, Vasquez was able to get a piece of it to foul it off. That was a 13th home run he's given up this season in about 80 innings. Going to get the bullpen active. Six Red Sox have batted in the inning. Five of them have reached. J.D. Martinez a two-run double on a Renfro two-run homer. Thompson getting going in their bullpen. Bullpens, of course, on the field here, as you recall, at the Trop. Down the left and right field lines, two and two. Vasquez has hit three home runs off this guy in his career. He'll pop this one up into right. Margot in. Out number two. And Kike will be next. Catch a condensed 12 hour version of this Red Sox game at midnight on Sox and Two. Brought to you by Bigelow Tea, the official hot tea of the Red Sox. So Kike becomes the eighth man to bat in the inning. One for one with a double. That he wasn't too sure about. He thought it was probably foul and yeah, came he's looking all over the ballpark for it. Took it down the right field line. Base is empty, courtesy of Mr. Renfro. Swooping in there at 69. There's a swing and a miss. Maybe yeah, way big, under the zone. Sweeping, breaking ball. Red Sox doing something they routinely have done for many years now for Eddie Rodriguez and that score runs. Yes. And the 0 1 pitch. Bounding ball foul. Still scoring him close to six runs a game this year Eddie. Not that that's anything to sneeze at. Bobby Dalbeck on deck. It's been a 
labor for Yarbrough. Well, it's been a labor for, for me. I've been, I'm labored up here. <laughs> it's like <laughs> he tore me up. Tied of the change up. <laughs> he's, he's crushing me up here. I mean, is the fact that most of them are 74 or the fact that he takes about a half hour between oh, pitches? It has to be. It's breathtaking. A yeah, different kind. Different yeah. meaning there. Yeah. Taking your breath away. Yeah, it's, don't mention that, please. I'm sorry, oh. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it came out of my mouth, I regretted that. Uh, <laughs> by don't by the way, watch. You sound terrific, by the way. <laughs> One two pitch. Act that fouled off. Next thing you know, you'll sit around and I'll be on the floor in the back. No, don't, <laughs> please don't even joke about that. Uh, <laughs> hey, you gotta have a little fun with it. Oh, yeah. Red Sox five, Tampa Bay two. This would be number 67 for the lefty. Who just can't be long for this game. And he's going to drill him, I think. Yep, got him. KK gets hit. Man, and this, this is one of my topper for the year. This about the <laughs> worst appearances I have ever seen. Yeah, that's this is going to be. This is so yeah. bad. Thank Get goodness. the hook. Get the hook. But anybody watching the game is hoping Kevin Cash is about to do right here. Oh, thank goodness. That's it for Yarbrough. So they'll go to Thompson, and we'll be back at the trough in just a moment. 